Welcome to the minute session on upgrading your SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11 to Service Pack 4. To ensure your SUSE Linux Enterprise Server environment is up to date and you are able to continue to receive critical support and updates, it is important that you upgrade to SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11 Service Pack 4, as Service Pack 3 is out of maintenance. Today we are going to show you how to upgrade your server. But firstly, you should check and verify that your SAP Business One version is supported on Service Pack 4. And if it isn't, you need to upgrade your SAP Business One environment to the supported patch level first. To do this, you simply navigate to the Download Center for SAP Business One, and then you select Updates. We're now going to select SAP B1 version for SAP HANA. And we're going to verify which patch level of SAP B1 9.1 for SAP HANA is supported on Service Pack 4. We then click on Comprised Software Component Versions and then select SAP B1 9.1 for SAP HANA again. Under the Info Page tab and the Must Know section, you will find a link to an SAP note. We're now going to open the SAP note and the new Support Launchpad will open. This is a centralised note for SAP Business One 9.1 version for SAP HANA. From here, we can find out information that relates to what is supported and what isn't supported. If I search for the term SUSE, I'm then presented with a note that says SAP Business One 9.1 patch level 8 version for SAP HANA support SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11, Service Pack 3 only. If I then search for additional information, from here we can then continue to search the note which will provide us information that we're looking for. For example, SAP Business One 9.1 Patch Level 10, version for SAP HANA, supports Linux, SUSE 11, Service Pack 3 and Service Pack 4. You can also perform the same search for SAP Business One 9.2 version for SAP HANA and this will provide you the right information ensuring that you're on the right patch level in order for you to upgrade to Service Pack 4. Now that you have checked and verified that you are running a supported SAP Business One version, let's now continue with the upgrade process. We have now navigated to the SUSE.com website. From here, we can select Support and Services and we can navigate to their Product Support Lifecycle page. We can then check their Product Support Lifecycle table for information about specific product lifecycle details. If we search for SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11, we can then see that the Service Pack 3 General maintenance ends on 31st of January 2016 of this year. So as we can see, anyone that is running Service Pack 3 should upgrade to Service Pack 4 as soon as possible. There are a number of different supported ways for updating a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11 Service Pack 3 system to a Service Pack 4. You may either update by using the online update tools to install the respective patches, known as the online migration, or you can update via the Service Pack installation media, for example downloading the full ISO image of SLES 11 Service Pack 4. Furthermore, updates can be performed via servers hosting the subscription management tool or the SUSE manager. If we click on Free Downloads and then we select SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, under Server 11 SP4, we were able to select the 64-bit version by selecting Download Now. From here, you can download the ISO image, Disk 1. You need to sign in or create an account, and you can even download the software without registering your SUSE server by selecting I want the software without patches and updates. You simply fill in a few details and then you have access to download the ISO image. Once you have your ISO image, we are now able to migrate to your SUSE Linux environment.
Now we are in our SUSE at Linux environment, we simply navigate to Computer. Under System, we select Yast, which is the control center. We then select Software, and under Software, we've got the ability to run a patch CD update. Alternatively, you can directly boot from within the DVD and then perform the update during the reboot process. Let's now run the patch CD update. We then select Next. It then performs a registration check. We can still run it without the system being registered. Given our image is a DVD image, we are going to select DVD and then Next again. We confirm our license agreement terms and then click Next. These are the packages that will be switched to versions in the selected repositories. Now that the information required to perform the update is now complete, we can click Start Update. At the end of the installation process, you need to reboot your system. Once the update is complete, Service Pack 4 will be up and running. That concludes our session for today. Thank you very much for your time and ensure that you are SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11 Service Pack 4 ready.